Hey, Scott here from Rebellious Noise, and I'm here with the guys from Issues. What's up? I'm Tyler. What's up? I'm Sky. Cool, man. So, um, all right, well, obviously, we're here in London at the Coco, getting ready for your, your big gig tonight. Um, so, you guys brought out the album Headspace recently. How's that doing? It's doing great, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't gotten numbers yet, but <laughs> yeah. everybody has been tweeting me. reception you know. wise online, doing good, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. no one would tweet me that they hate it, you know. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, so, it people, seems... people are quick to do that before they have to praise. To be fair, so yeah, it's. A, I mean, you can always tell. Like, I mean, everything's gonna get some negative stuff, or mm. at least you assume. But I haven't seen like any negative stuff yet. Not really, at least compared to like our last stuff. So I, I'm going. I'm going off the assumption that people actually like it. So that's cool. <laughs> cool, cool. I don't want to get into the same old. Oh, which influences? Cause clearly, you guys have a lot of different influences. Yeah. Uh, and um, you, you, I know it's cliche, but you really don't sound like that many bands out there today. So well, that's, that's a cool good. thing. It's a cool thing. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, we try. <laughs> but like a strange, I don't know if this like when I was listening to uh, in the realist and you have that bass part mm. and then in the kind of like into the breakdown kind of bit you have a bass part and a little bit DJ kind of start like making you think of a little bit of old school Incubus. Have oh, you heard yeah. that before? Oh, that well, uh, I haven't heard it a whole lot, but it's definitely deliberate. Yeah, is it? Okay, <laughs> yeah. good. I, I thought Mongo's I was going crazy. Science, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's good Good jams. <laughs> nice, nice. So you guys released a video for Coma a little while ago as well, right? Yes, sir. So I just wanted to ask, so there's a lot of like colors and themes, like what, what is behind all that? Uh, I, think it, I think it's just more of a, it was just more of a artistic. Visual thing. Yeah, visual concept the director dylan novak we've done most of our um best videos with dylan and he he's great i mean we just wanted to do something that involved a little more like fashion a little more makeup yeah. a little more on the high side of things it and, definitely shows um yeah i think he just wanted to kind of you know utilize sean ross the uh, actor in the video um as kind of a platform for just you know this I don't know, dreamy, just in a coma kind yeah. of, just emotional, um, interpretive movement. I don't know. It's cool though. It definitely makes you like you know think and stuff. So. Something like you guys have done that other bands have done, but in a, w a different kind of way. So some bands have like remix albums. Some of us have like acoustic albums. How would you describe Diamond Dreams? Like what kind of? What did you say? Reimagining? Yeah, I would call it just like a reimagination because at the time. Um, I mean, we're just so influenced by different things, and we're everybody in our band is so talented and are you know multi talented mm -hmm. even, and we just kind of wanted to do something that was a little more appealing to people who might not be super into metal because yeah, we love so. like we could make a go and make a pop record or yeah. a country mm -hmm. album or whatever we're so into I mean, everything but issues yeah <laughs> issues oh, really? is a okay. metal band yeah, yeah obviously yeah. um. But I, it was just an easy way for us to get some of our other creative juices yeah. out of our system, and you know. I will. I will feeling. say it's a uh, it's a good tool to get people into issues that aren't into metal. Like friends of mine that are into metal, I can just go oh, listen to this. The ones that aren't so much into metal, I can just say, "Hey, listen to this." Don't you think? And then I can gradually yeah, <laughs> get yeah. them listening to more and more. Yeah, that's just, cool. Uh, yeah, that's a good. I mean, that was one of the goals, but yeah, we just kind of wanted to get it out of our system and do something cool and jazzy yeah so what was you saying about what you're gonna do next then about oh well i mean if we now that this album's finally out like yeah. we, we have again like we have so much creative juices flowing we're just all kind of like oh yeah what else can we do like yeah uh like me and okay so young and dumb are like so country flavored song on the album features this guy john langston who's about to record his first Full length album and me and Josh are playing that, for example. Oh, cool. And then Tyler, like you're, he's working on, he's been working on a pop. We're gonna work on a, so. uh, a full country pop version of mm -hmm. Young and Dumb for his album as well. Oh, nice! So, just fun. Kind of trade worlds a little bit. We're kind of always just creating. You yeah, know? you guys definitely. I mean, even with, um, I think one of the first songs I might have heard from you guys was the uh, uh, Punk Goes Pop cover, Justin mm -hmm. Bieber one. Oh lord! And like, <laughs> Sorry. so. Well, that, was, <laughs> that was before like Sky was even in, or AJ wasn't yeah, even yeah, yeah. really that heavily involved with that song. That song was just kind of issues with just an idea, but yeah. like somehow the cat got out of the bag and fans started getting really excited and like hitting me up on Twitter and demanding, and the label started pushing, and yeah. it was just kind right, of like let's do it. yeah, it was like yeah, premature. Yeah. And then we got asked to do that, and also, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but at the time I was like. We kind of needed more money to kickstart mm. the band and put it together, and 
um, Punk Goes Pop was like a, a good outlet to do yeah. that and also get some exposure yeah, definitely. to get people talking about the band. But ideally, I want to start a band off a cover, but that, you know, yeah, a lot of people seem to be doing that these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> if you guys could do, say, if they were going to do a Punk Goes Hip Hop, for example, do you have a song that you'd like oh. to do? Ooh. God, that's a hard one. I had to do a mashup. Ooh, Punk Goes Hip Hop. That is a hard one. We've always hoped that they would do Punk Goes 90s. Oh, uh, that'd be good. Mm-hmm. Or not Punk Goes 90s. Punk Goes Disney. Okay, oh, Punk yeah, Goes Disney. yeah. Or like Punk Goes 90s R&B or something. Yeah, like, yeah, Do a yeah. Jodeci song. Like, I would be so into that. Uh, hip Hop, though. Maybe I would do... Um... Jodeci's kind of hip hop. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, Tony, what, Tony, Tony. What's the song I'm thinking of? I'd probably do Cleaning Out My Closet. <laughs> really? Nice. I mean, that's not a bad one. I'd, I'd probably go for like a Biggie song, like Juicy or something. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I'd lo- I'd love to see both you, both of those songs get done by Issue Yeah, like that's, like, that's pretty cool. Oh, I take that back. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I would do. Um, I would do. What's that Fuji song I like? Oh, Killing Me Softly. No, not not I do one love that one. I don't know. It's what not ready or not. It's the first one. The Sing first it! One. Come the on. Fuji. <laughs> Uh, maybe it is healing, or maybe it is, uh, <laughs> it's the one that's like, and while y'all fronting Al Capone, I'll be Nina Simone and defecating on your microphone. Oh. Ready, oh, it is ready it tonight. Is, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Let's say. do that one. That'll that one, one or that, that thing. That'll be good. Lauren, that but... thing, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got a sneak preview, guys. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I encourage this. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool, man. So, uh, we'll let you guys get off in a sec, but... If you guys had to replace yourself in a band for one night only, who would it be? So if you guys both come down with the flu tonight or something crazy, who's going to take if your place? If you guys could have Ooh. anybody fill in for me. Well, no, you got to choose your own because I don't want to split any bands up here. <laughs> no, so, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, okay, yeah, you got to choose your own because that's, that's... Like, who would yeah. you like to take your if place? If I would just uh, call in reinforcements, I'd call in my, my friend Max. Oh, Max yeah. Schneider. He's Max a really dope uh, artist. You okay. should check him out. Max, oh. M-A-X. Um... He'd be my he'd be my filling. Yo, Max, can you fill in for me? Max Schneider, yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, he's got a good album out. And then for me, Ryan Martini from Mudvayne. I bring him out of retirement because that brother is crazy. Yeah, and everything I play and do on stage, I've directly stolen. It's from him. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Hey, man, at least you're honest, man. <laughs> oh yeah, if I ever meet him, I'm gonna shake his hand and say thank you for unknowingly giving me a career. Your career, I appreciate it. Very nice, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for everything, guys. It's been yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, thank thank you. you. Good luck tonight. Cool.